No one can know that. Okay, so we are live. You know the drill, fellas. Say howdly doodly. Howdly doodly. What's going howdly on? Howdly doodly. Howdly doodly. <laughs> howdly doodly. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, Defined Beard Co. Group review. We ha we actually have Kerry, the CEO and owner of Defined Beard Co. Right down there, uh, and your left there. Look at that branding right there. Look at that excellent, excellent branding. Um, so we're basically going to give you guys a kind of rundown of uh, our opinions on the products that we've used, uh, which is the Psychobilly Quiff and the Bomb Butter and Oil, and then the Cab Caballero and the Bomb Butter and Oil. And the other fellas here have also used the 1626 as well. So we're going to kind of give you all our opinions on uh, our experiences with these products. Uh, Carrie's going to chime in. You guys can ask him anything you want uh, about any of these products. I, th I think it's going to be a great stream. We're just going to hang out and have a good time. And hopefully this can be an evergreen piece of content that you look back on and you can, uh, uh, you know, just keep looking back on it and uh, see it as a, a video of sorts. So um, uh, who wants to start out with their review? Let's just go around the, the way we are on the screen, I guess. I'll go, and then Dave, then Swag, and then... Sounds Look good. at that big home. That's crazy. <laughs> do, do I get to review it? It's yeah. good. I'm telling you, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no bias. Yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll kind of kick us off. I did... Uh, I reviewed Defined in January, one-off. I think, I think I actually launched the company with Kerry. It was his first, like, launch date. I did a review... Um, and at the time, it was just 1626 and Psycho Billy Quiff, these two guys right here. Um, you know, so Carrie and I did a lot of chatting, a lot of kind of just figuring out what the company was all about. And branding to me is huge. So the fact that these are different looking bottles, go Chiefs, and uh, different looking bottles, uh, the branding is awesome. Uh, but the thing that I got out of the most was, I mean, 1626 is just an amazing long lasting scent. And that's something that I like a fresh, clean cologne scent, uh, but lasted a while. And then you get the, you know, what's behind it. Well, it's a highway and in Texas, it does have a Sonic on it. We've figured that out. And then you get into like Psycho Billy Quiff and you're just kind of like, what is that? You know, and people are like, I don't know how to pronounce it or anything like that. And it's like, well, when you kind of look at the bottle, you see there's comb and scissors and stuff there. Well, Psycho Billy Quiff was a haircut back in the 50s. So this is his rendition of a barbershop. But when you smell it, it's not like the talcum powdery barbershop scent that a lot of companies have or that we're all kind of used to. It's it's a completely different, like, I don't even know if you would define it. See what I did there? Define it. I don't know if you would define it as a barbershop. If you were just to pick this up with no label and just smell it, you'd just be like, that is super good and clean and, and amazing. But then once you kind of realize it's a barber shoppy scent from the 50 type, 50s type area, um, you get, uh, you, you can kind of pick that up in that, that, that scent. Um, and then just recently, so those are the two scents he launched with in, in January that I first reviewed. And then he came out with Distinguished Caballero, which is a chocolate uh, pipe tobacco Cavendish type scent. And it's, I mean, it's spot on to what he says it is. I I just, that chocolate hits me and I'm not a big chocolate fan, but the pipe tobacco scent is still really good in there. You still get it. It's a chocolatey pipe tobacco is kind of what I get out of it. But also then released the butter. And I mean, you have a huge, heavy brick of a butter here. And it's not a whipped butter, it's a poured butter, which I tend to go after. It's got body, uh, but it feels really good. So this is not only branding on point all the way across between the three products with great scents that'll last you i mean I, for me six to eight hours which is kind of where i want uh, my scents to last but you have a really good carrier blend and a good feeling beard so i'm going to kind of leave it at that because if i just sit here and run it down everybody that follows me is going to have nothing to talk about in their opinion so i'm going to kind of leave it at that so these other guys have something to add to it so dave go ahead and kind of give us your thoughts on everything. Definitely. So this was, I've had defined for a little while. Uh, I think I, I know I got psycho belly quiff first and then distinguished Cavalero. And then I received 1626. Uh, all of them are, are great sense. I'm with Tyson. I love the feel in beard. 
Uh, sixteen twenty six is my my go to though. Now, like this one, it was the the one I was missing from the collection, the only one I didn't have. And when I read it before I smelled it, I didn't know how I felt about kind of an orange eucalyptus. But that has quickly become during the month of using it my go to scent. Like I love 1626 and uh the butters man I, I can't say enough good things about the products how they're put together carrier blends and those butters i like a bit of a more has a, a butter that has a body with it and i think that i know that the defined has that body so it feels great in beard and it is one heck of a tank of a container uh well it's a tank because not only is it glass but four ounces guys this is right. four ounce containers so you're we're not used to this big of a butter container we're used to yeah it's ounces. and, and it, it just feels great uh i think yeah. i'm still the only person in history that usps managed to break uh one of carrie's jars i don't know if they're playing soccer with it or whatever but uh, i mean even customer service wise I, I i tried to argue with carrie about not sending me out another one because it wasn't that serious but uh he came through on that every time just the company as a whole feels great i don't want to say too much like tyson and knock everybody else out but i was super super impressed with the scent quality the way it felt in beard the compliments I got, I mean, 1626, I said it in my review, that's like my going out scent, right? Uh, I'm old, so I don't go out that much. But <laughs> when I when I go out and I wear 1626, what are you wearing? What do you have? What cologne is that? And I just have to tell them, grow a beard and I'll get you some of it. But uh, <laughs> that's all I really got. I'll, I'll pass it over to Cribs. It, 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 you guys are spot on with the, the fresh and the clean scent profiles. Uh, yeah, uh, the Psychobilly Quiff in 1626 are just amazing cologne. Uh, the white patchoulis, the patchoulis and the sandalwood, which is 1626, which amazed me is probably my favorite one as well. And it has sandalwood in it. Carrie has done such a great job mixing these scent profiles up that you really can't just pick out one thing um, on those two. Now on the di Distinguished Caballero, uh, and that's for E-Rock. He, he had to correct us on that. Uh, the first thing that comes out, I mean, it is a deep chocolate Cavendish tobacco. That's ex And I smoke a pipe. And that's exactly what it, it brings out, that, that aromatic kind of a flavor that, that gets my mouth watering. So it, it was amazing. Unfortunately, my wife, Nikki, doesn't like it. Um, but I'll probably still sneak it in every now and then. But what I want to talk about, is I want to talk about the uh, attention to quality of the branding, uh, the fonts, the labels, the lids of every single product. Everything just matches to a T, uh, to the combs, to the lids, you know, to the decals. Everything is spot on and attention to detail is just 100% quality, two thumbs up. And then you get down to the man himself who is not only a maker and a company owner, but part of the community, part of the family, really engaging in every platform that there is. Uh, it, there is not one thing that I can point to as an influencer, as a reviewer, as a, as a consumer that I can say, this isn't very high up on my list and that I'm not proud uh, to, uh, I'm very proud to have his products, every single one of them, up on my shelf. And, and that's just a testament to you and your integrity and character. Uh, that goes into your products and that goes into your sales and that goes into your customer service. So that's what I want to focus on. Well, I think it kind of goes on more than that when you think about, I mean, like I said, I was the, like, helped him launch the company as far as the review side of it. And when we talked before the review came out, just how much time and effort he put in before he was ready to launch. I think, I think Carrie and I talked in like August of last year, of like I'm doing a company and Ben Reese and like I were trying to line up a review and just kind of talk about ideas back and forth. And it, it kind of threw me off guard when we were talking in August and he's like, I'm not going to launch till first of the year. And it's like how much research and effort and time to put into it. 
and the carrier blend isn't that garbage. It's just not a normal type carrier blend that you would see anywhere where he just grabbed some jojoba and grape seed and mixed it together and called it a carrier blend. Like he really did the research and made it the way he wanted to, but uh, we'll get back into that later. I want to hear what Kaz thinks about everything. Absolutely. Uh, before I get into my review, I uh, invite all of you to go down into my description there uh, where you will find the discount code uh, that Carrie has so graciously offered to you guys. I believe it is 50% off. Uh, it is Beard Trend 15. Well, you can go to the description and find out for yourself there. Uh, you know, uh, copy and paste it as you will. And um, actually, I, I, I'm pretty interested in in this. What, what, what's the what's the backstory with the 1626, Carrie? Are you talking about the actual name itself? Yeah, the name itself. Yeah, no, that's a, uh, you know, I'm, we're here in Buda, Texas, which is a small town in Texas, right outside of Austin. Um, and the the only really major highway that runs through it is 1626. And I live like, uh, uh, you know, maybe like a quarter of a mile away from it. So it's something we use every day. But, you know, when I was making that scent, you know, it was that fresh, clean feel. And then you get out and you go for a drive through the middle of town and you can just smell it coming through, you know, coming through the beard and up in your nose. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to name it 1626. And everybody's going to think it's named after a year, but it's named after a highway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. I love that. I, I, I would love to try that someday. But uh, today I'm going to be uh, just, you know, kind of covering uh, the Psychobilly Quiff. I have it in the bomb, the oil and the butter. Uh, the Psychobilly Quiff. Um, I don't know if you've ever received this before. To me, it it, it kind of smells like a, a, a well, like when I put in my beard the first time, uh, my my wife smelled it and she goes, "Oh, that smells like Old Spice," mm. which is interesting because when I put it in my beard, I said, "I said this smells like Speed Stick deodorant," which is really re re I don't know if it's an affiliation thing, but it's like Speed Stick de deodorant, but it has that kind of. Uh, oh, like an overtone of quality and freshness and uh, cleanliness, you know, kind of the perfect thing that you would want to put in your beard, uh, you know, uh, after a nice fresh cut, after getting a nice fade or something like that. I, I, I absolutely love this scent. The, uh, the, the butter, I, I, I know probably a lot of people get a little um, scared away when they see a bit of grit, you know, in, in the butter itself. But I, I can absolutely assure you, once you wear it down, there is absolutely no grit whatsoever. You know, you get it, you, you feel a little grand, you know, granularity as you're breaking it down, but then it kind of come, gets down completely. The feel and beard of all of these products, amazing. I absolutely love the feel and beard. Um, it's one of the only products I have on my shelf personally where I'll uh, I'll put it in in the morning and the the next morning. You know, I might have a little bit of dryness, but not nearly. Not, like sometimes, you know, when I haven't applied, done a nighttime routine, I'll wake up and it's like, this is the Sahara Desert up in there. It's, it, it, doesn't, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't feel yeah. too good. So, yeah. uh, I, I mean, obviously it's probably a secret. I don't know what, uh, you know, what research you've done to make a product that has such moisturizing uh, quality. Uh, how much experimentation you had to do, but I just have to, uh, you know, uh, give you some props. Many, 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 many years of traveling the Himalayas to come up with the recipe for that. You know? Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> no, not really. It, 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 <laughs> it, took a, it took a little a little while, you know. It was, I think I told Tyson that I, I mean, I had been working on it before I even launched. I just told him that I didn't think it was ready to go at the launch. And, you know, I work, continued to work on it in um, uh, January. And I guess, I think I launched it, when was it? February? Yeah. February, it was like mid to late February or early March. I mean, it hasn't been yeah. for really long. Like, cause I think it was end of January, early February when we were, uh, you were sending out some testers to try. And, you know, I know uh, there was a couple different testers that I worked on with you and, yeah um, yeah so you know as yeah. far as like and, beer and stuff like that for me personally it's just like when you think about like these carriers that all the companies use a lot of them are similar so it's like what gives one company feel and beard over another company that has a lot of similar carrier oils and i mean a you got my beard play 
and my personal feel in beard. But when everybody's saying like, oh, this has got this great feel in beard, like to me, the only thing that I can think of is it goes to where you guys get your carrier oils from. Where are you sourcing them from? Are you are we buying them off of Amazon? Are we getting them from a reputable, <laughs> reputable company? Are we getting them from a different country where they're more refined? Like, how is that going? And, you know, and, and I think about the fine beer company, I think exactly what the name is. Everything has gone with the name. It's, it's a defined, higher end, classy company all the way from um, the owner, you know, yourself and how you conduct yourself in the public eye um, to what's behind the company. And really when I sit down and think like everybody's seen my beard shelf, I've been in the beard world for over a year. Um, I have a million companies. I've tested a million companies. I've made a lot of videos. And there's about, you know, realistically, I could count on one hand uh, and name the companies that I would do anything for or anything with. And and I'm pretty particular with that. Like, I don't want my name in a collaboration with a bunch of companies. But in my mind, with Feel and Beard design owner uh, behind a the company, there's about four to five companies that it's just like, if they came knocking and wanted to do anything with me, um, I'd be there and defined is on that list. So uh, nice. good, good stuff. And I'm, I'm, I mean, anybody can it makes sense, but I know that what's behind it with the scent wise with you is you want to be different and you want to put your time in. I mean, you were working on uh, distinguished Caballero when you launched the company and it took you two more months after that to be like, I want to put this out. And I know, um, I know we're working on something, not, you know, not an official collaboration or whatever, we're, we've just been tossing ideas around and, and messing around, but it's like, you know, we don't know how far out on that it is. And I know you got something lined up for this fall. And so you're planning a far ahead and making sure that things are absolutely perfect when you get it. And even when Caballero came out, like, you know, you had sent me some of that and we tried it and made changes and, you know, so it's just been a good relationship and, and a company that not just knocking stuff out to have another sense. It's wanting to do it right. And, and I think yeah. that's the way you conduct yourself with everything. I've never been in a hurry to just throw something out there. You know, it's, it's, I want it to be perfect or at least perfect in my eyes, you know? Um, and I, I try not to uh, rush things. And a, a lot of people get, frustrated with me because they're like you know come on push out some more scents push out some more scents and i'm like i am but yeah. it's not going to be three next week you know <laughs> it's going to be one or one or two over the next you know three or four months and and it, i just i just think that quality matters a lot more than quantity you know and i've got i've got all i've got all the time in the world to make more sense i mean i've already made last year i made what 17 cents and I launched with two and you know, I keep going back and tweaking the other ones I made. So, I mean, I did that with distinguished Caballero, you know, it was, I just, I think it started at, what was that? What did I tell you I was going to make like a tobacco bourbon vanilla. And then it's more, like yeah. it more, it morphed into that. I just kept trying new things and trying new things. And, you know, next thing you know, here comes the chocolate, here comes the cedar. And, you know, it was, it just, uh, I felt like it, it, you know, it, it accomplished what I wanted to do with it. And it reached, it re, it's reaching the people that, you know, like that scent profile. Um, that's, that's kind of what I, you know, base my scent profiles off of is, you know, the, the little niche groups that there are. And if you have one of each, then you can cover all the bases, you know, um, it's, it's not easy to do, but that's what I'm trying to do. So so Carrie, if I if I saw it right on the website, these the silver tins have kind of, kind of gone to the wayside to the new containers, right? Yeah, I'm using uh, two ounce glass jars for the bombs now. So they're essentially just like a smaller version of the butter, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Little little, little brother. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, and there's yeah. only one other company that I can think of that's doing glass all the way across the board, and yeah. For bombs and butters, so um, it's just such an amazing. It, it's an amazing look. You know, you think of this for butter, and then you think of half this for bomb, and just how they would stack on a shelf and look. You know, like there's nothing worse than when there's no label on on here and you're stacking them, or you think about like 
you stack two bones up here, like which one's which, you know? So you get into that glass and you can, you know, stack them and see what's what. To me, that just keeps so much Yeah, I, I thought it made the whole lineup look great when I did that because there's nothing wrong with the metal tins, you know, but, you, I mean, Tyson knows how picky I am and I, it just was killing me to see that silver tin between that glass bottle and that big four ounce jar. I was like, I gotta have, it's gotta be complete, you know? So that's when I went to the two ounce, two ounce jars for the bomb. So, um, I those are the things that, that like I really respect because being in the community for a while, I know that a two ounce glass jar costs you more money than a two ounce tin, you know? And so the fact that you are so important with branding that you're willing to spend more money uh, on <clears throat> packaging it up, you know, it's just kind of, to me, that's, uh, that means something. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it was, I've actually thought about maybe selling butters in two ounce jars, like also, you know, have four ounce and two ounce, but you know, I don't know if I really want to get into that yet. You know, it's, I, I think I'd rather kind of get some more, more products out. I mean, I do have some stuff coming out next month. <clears throat> um, it's a little different than any of these or what I'm doing. So there's a little surprise for a little hint. But, uh, uh, I mean, I'm going to be releasing a couple of things next month. You know, one of them is going to be the standard oil, balm, and butter. And then the other one is a totally new product. So, um, nice. yeah. So I've actually been working on that one for a long time as well. And it didn't, you know, it wasn't ready at launch. And I put it on the back burner until the, the beginning of March when I pulled it back out again and started working on it. And I think I've got it. I think I've got it nailed down. Um, I didn't want to release it this month because I'm having the giant sale. <laughs> it's a little more expensive to make. So, you know, so I, talk I'm, about that sale a little bit that you have going on right now for everybody that's in here. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know the exact percentage. I basically marked everything down in April just because of the situation of what's going on in the world today. You know, um, I know that a lot of people out there are hurting because they lost their job or they got their pay cut, you know, and, you know, I want them to still be able to get their, their beard products. Some people may not see it as essential, but, you know, I do. And I think we all do, you know. Um, so I decided, you know, why not? I was just going to run it for a few days and it went so well, you know, and a lot of people I've talked to a lot of people who, you know, had some pretty bad stories about what had happened to them. And, you know, I said, OK, you know what? I'm going to do this all for the month of April. Um, it's, it's, it's been heck, it's been crazy. <laughs> so I marked it down, uh, you know, I think what, uh, one ounce bottles are, you know, from 15 to 10, everything like bombs from 15 to 10, uh, 10 bucks. Um, so, I mean, yeah, if they use, you know, you guys code plus it already being marked down, it comes out to almost 50% off, you know? Um, yeah, that's kind of what we were talking about. So it's like, you know, usually we try to get a big discount code for beer trends to kind of make it something special, you know, 30 to 40 percent off or something. Mm -hmm. and so, oh, I got everything marked down to like 10 bucks. So, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah when you asked me, I said, I, I want to oh, keep it at 15 because it's going to be pretty much 50 percent off as it is, you know. So um, maybe maybe after, you know, the sale or something, we can come up with another one for you guys um, and do that. But uh, it's it's been great. I mean, I've this is the busiest month I've ever had. I mean, I've only been around for I mean, this is my fourth month. Um, but you know, it's it's been great as far as I mean, I mean, just as far as the orders go. I, I just it just blows my mind. And the good thing is, is it's always good when you know you get orders. But the best part about when you get orders is when it's somebody new. You know, when you get a new customer and um, that's what I've seen a lot happen this month is the people who were on the fence before said, hmm, you know, I pretty much have no reason not to try it now because I don't even need to ask for samples because I can get a bottle of oil. If I use a code, it's eight or nine bucks plus shipping, you know, so um, but it, it yeah, I, I got to I have to admit that. Yeah, I mean, I'll be I'll be glad when when May gets here. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Kerry, uh, how long is that code going to last for, uh, the fellows out there? The 50% forever. forever? Oh, you, oh, yeah, you talk, you're talking about your code, the trends code. Yeah. The yeah. trends 15. Yeah. Yeah. No, that, you, yeah. Yeah. It's good for forever. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah. 
Yeah. And uh, you were indeed interested in uh, doing a small little giveaway for, for us during this stream. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, okay, excellent. Uh, what, what would that look like? Um, why don't we do, why don't we do a, an oil butter combo right now? Sure, sure. Um, I'll, I'll let you guys pick the scent. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are all going to have a different one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going to end up giving away all three anyway. So just which mm -hmm. one you think, whatever mm -hmm. you want to do first. Okay. So oil, oil, butter combo, can they, uh, are they able to mix and match the scents or just what one sure. scent? Yeah, okay. If they, yeah. If they want to do that, that'll work. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Um, all right. I'll, uh, you guys can keep on chatting. I'll, I'll find a, uh, actually, uh, Kerry, do, do you want to come up with a question? Uh, maybe something on your website or something like that that you can quiz them on so then they can uh, go to your website, scramble around, try to find the answer? Uh, yeah. Here, let me look at my own website. I haven't looked at it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I always, I always, like, I always look I at the back like end, you know? Yeah. I never really look at the front end of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I, I was going to find something to ask, and I'm like, wait a minute, we got the studio <laughs> in here. Why, why, why am I doing the work? Harry <laughs> have today. That's a good question. Yeah. Follow you on IG. So, uh, for all of you that just dropped in, we're in the middle of a giveaway right now. Carrie's about to ask the questions. Get your typing uh, sausages ready. Up on those keys. <laughs> Typing sausages? I've never heard that. <laughs> Typing sausages. It came to my head and it sounded great in my head, but you know. Were you were you looking at my hands, Kaz? Because that's not that's not cool. Oh man. I didn't mean oh. to expose you, but uh I had yeah. sausage fingers. I actually was talking about your fingers. I'm sorry, Dave. <laughs> what is everybody got a beard today? Like that's a good question that kinda <laughs> get some going around. Yeah. Ben Taft uh, 63 no thumbs. <laughs> I feel like I have stubby little fingers, but like everybody was like, you got girl fingers, so I don't know. And Mick wants us to fight. Fight? Yeah. There's nothing to fight. Like, I think we all agree that chocolate is not our thing, but the other scents are amazing. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I think one of the cool things, uh, I don't know if somebody brought it up already on the bottles, uh, that strikes me is the attention to detail aside from everything that we've talked about. The, the fonts and the colors was this little section right here in the back. Come that's on, the, only, yeah. the only color thing on there. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I, I think it I, I think it just looks really, really clean. I, I, I love, uh, yeah, it, it definitely really works. We got Gary in here. I, I, he, he just slid in here. I, I missed it. Yeah. LG Lou. <laughs> yeah, man, I don't know. I, I was looking on the website. You know, I was gonna, I was gonna look in the about us section and see, but I feel like everybody already knows all that. Let me, uh, let me think of something good to to ask that that you guys might know. Um, I don't want to go to football here because then we'll start the whole Kansas City. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Knocked out the Texans, yeah. After what yeah. was it? Four to yeah. Losing yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you mean when we were up by like twenty-four points and then lost? Yeah, that that game. I remember that one. That, that was terrible. amazing. Amazing. Depends on what side of the stadium you're sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm on the side of the stadium of the Super Bowl champions. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Let's let's see if anybody can. Uh, figure this one out we'll, we'll ask we'll ask something personal instead of business how many kids do i have and boy or girl or both or mixed <laughs> I, think, I think the answer is you have unlimited children <laughs> and, and they're all aliens Am I getting close? Both. Let's see. Nobody's close yet. You got a three, four, three. Mick. That, yeah. No, Mick, no, Mick is Mick not. Is not, not. Oh, oh, but... Illegitimate child. No. 
<laughs> Two girls. Six. Six. Holy cow, Andy. That was a man. That's a big fam. There's, there's there's some close ones in here, but I haven't seen it yet. Two boy and girl. Two boy and girl. No. See, I don't know the answer either, so I'm just. <laughs> I think I know, it, and I think somebody has part of it right, but not this yeah. I think other part think, of it. I think I 12. saw one. I eight also... boys, eight girls, four boys. Close. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. We got to teach you what protection is. <laughs> a, but, a butter and an oil is on the is on the line here, guys. Go creep carry on social media. <laughs> I've seen I've seen I see one answer that's <clears throat> half right. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I think that's the one you're looking at. I think I see that too. What's Mr. up, uh, Matt? Mr. Pompadour's up in here. How you doing? Oh, thank you so much. Kaz's hair is, yeah, he's got Kaz has got the hair and it's crazy. And the voice even. That, that's actually gonna go straight to my head. I don't know if I could take that kind of a compliment. I'm gonna... <laughs> Kaz is going crazy though because he can't get a haircut. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. I I, I want I wanna get this all taken in. And uh Okay, so it looks like I don't know, on my screen it looks like camo cam. Two two <laughs> You see it? Of course. I don't know. I don't know. Are we going by my screen or are you guys' screen? Well, that's the first one that says a uh, a boy and a girl. Yep. Yeah. There you go. I have I have a twenty year old son and a ten year old daughter. See, I didn't know that. I was wrong. I thought it was just the the daughter. No. Yeah. Well, that's because I don't talk about my son that much because he's in college. But you know, um, he, he, my son's actually the one that does the labels. Oh, oh I did know that. That's right. Oh, oh, really? That looks great. Okay, so yeah, congratulations, Camo Cam. I suppose reach out to Carrie via Instagram. Would that be the method? Yeah, Cam knows how to get in touch with me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Cam's, Cam's like the winner of everything all the time. He's gonna start getting banned. He's actually made a profession out of it. He makes a living <laughs> winning giveaways. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't even have to. Oh, man. Uh, Which, we need some more Chiefs fans representing in here. The Raiders fans are starting to take over. Cam, what sense are you mm -hmm. getting? Are you mixing and matching? You uh, getting uh, Psycho Billy Quiff, uh, Caballero, or 1626? We all want to know. Congrats. Actually, I just have a great idea. What if we mix 1626 and Psycho Billy Quiff together? Oh, mm -hmm. That would be a crazy good Sunday. Yep. Mishmash. Here goes my Sunday's best tomorrow. It's like a <laughs> 26 mixed up. Yes, uh, Cam has Caballero already. I know that. Yeah, so he needs to go with 1626 or Quiff. Yeah, I think. That. There we go. It's They're both great. Around. I mean, you can't you can't go wrong. Man, I, I I told Tyson in the beginning, 1626. I, that's what I always wore. Um, that was my go-to scent. You know, I, I had been wearing that one for months, even before I released it. Um, and then when I released it, I still kept wearing it and wearing it and wearing it. I didn't really change from 1626 until I made Distinguished Caballero. And I was like, I love it. You know, I just, I, I love that scent. So I just kept wearing it and wearing it. So I switched back and forth between 1626 and, uh, uh, Distinguished Caballero, um, but I know you guys are big on Psychobilly Quip. Apparently, a lot of people are. Like I said, you know, it, up until recently, up until this month, um, or the, the middle of this month, Distinguished Caballero is now outselling Psychobilly Quip. So um, not not by much. I mean, they're right neck and neck. But I was I was shocked. I was surprised because even in the beginning, Psychobilly Quip was pretty much the number one seller, you know. And I always felt like 1626 was getting slept on. But uh, hopefully that'll change. You know, I mean, it's a great scent. I mean, I need to, I need to figure out a way to to get that one out in front of more people. I remember a conversation I had after my review, um, my first review in January, and it was with Swag, 
and he bought he bought uh, I think sixteen twenty six because of the review. And I remember he called me and he's like, dude, I've had this in for like eight hours and I can still smell it. It's amazing. <laughs> and so we were kind of talking about it a little bit. And at the time I liked Quiff better. And you know, he called me, he's like, I got sixteen twenty six and it's just amazing. I'm like, Well, I haven't worn it in a while, so I'll wear it and then it was just like, Yep. You know, so going back and forth between those two is just like super good. Yeah, I love it. I, oh yeah. I, I love cool. Brian. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, sent, I sent it to Brian, uh, Beards and Banjos. He says he got it. He got it yesterday. I don't even check anymore because USPS is in just absolute disarray right now. It's not even Garbage. worth it trying to – God, uh, man, you know. It's, it's, I, I, used to, I used to go back, you know, like the next day, you know, I'd, you know, I'd go back and look at my, my shipments and just to see what the statuses are. I don't look at each one individually. It's all on one screen, but um, – now I'm just yeah. like, no, don't look. They're all late. <laughs> They're all late. <laughs> and uh, I, I, I urge every single one of you right now to go watch uh, the review by uh, Brother Cribs. Uh, the, there was something that was a, a recurring statement in his video, and uh, that, that was that he was saying that these uh, scents are fresh and clean. Yeah. <laughs> and clean and it reminded me of that song from the 90s uh -huh. fresh and clean yeah so the, the whole time during this video I, if that's in the back of my man my mind just so fresh and clean so fresh so clean clean yeah yeah <laughs> but uh, great song and, it, yeah. and that was actually popping through my mind while i was making it do i just heard it the other day and i was bumping it in the dodge and I mean, it's that's what it's on here. It's fresh and clean. I mean, yeah. I, there's nothing I, else you can say really about it. You, you know, I was wondering if you had an earworm or something. You, you know, you you were just getting you were you were trying to purge it from your mind. Is yeah, fresh, clean, fresh, clean. <laughs> well, if I, if I could make that my theme song without getting in trouble, that's probably what I would do because it's so awesome. <laughs> says it all. Uh, Tevin I, I, says he has all three scents. So Tevin, what's your favorite scent? Um, and then how about, um, yeah. okay, let's just ask everybody. Dan C just came in. Dan, what's your favorite scent from Defined? And then Brian as well. Like, what's your favorite scent? Three, uh, three people that have YouTube channels and, and have a ton of beard product you get to try different stuff. Like what's your guys' favorite scent from Defined? I'm, I don't know, between Psycho Billy Quiff and 1626, I struggle. Like they're both amazing. I think the thing about Psycho Billy Quiff that's cool is, you know. Oh. Oh, oh we lost him. Oh. We lost your audio, Dave. Your audio's cut out. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think Tevin has it right. Nope. Oh, yeah, you muted yourself by accident. Oh, no. Yep. Oh, geez. Nothing. Check your mic settings in StreamYard. Psycho Billy was sixteen twenty six. Then distinguished. Did the, What's uh, the sixteen twenty six loose? Maybe. Style? It is uh, orange eucalyptus sandalwood patchouli, and a few surprises. Yep. It smells nothing like what the scent profile says. Like I don't really get any orange. It's it's, it's super clean. fresh and clean. So. So uh, Dan C, I guess, only has the Psycho Billy, and sixteen twenty six. Yeah. So like, yeah. you can go check out Dan's uh, review and I'm just going to paraphrase it, but he was super, uh, he loved the feeling beer, correct me if I'm wrong, Dan or Carrie, but loved the feeling beer, but wants to get a citrus scent from Carrie. So as soon as there's a citrus <laughs> scent, I think we'll hear a lot more about Define from Dan. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, Dan, he's, he messaged me, you know, he tells me all the time, you know, like the, the star of the show for him with my products is the carrier oil blend. Um, for sure. So, you know, you, so you just, you just got to find, you know, everybody has their types of scents that they like, you know, and, um, and you know, once, once uh, I, I've got one that, that uh, appeals to Dan, then I think he'll be, you know, happy. <laughs> and I, I'm, I'm working on something, you know, so I've, I've talked to him about it. Um, but uh, that's about all I'm going to say about that one. 
Can you hear me really. now? Yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a commercial. <laughs> uh, I think Psycho Billy Quiff, like for like, I don't know how much you guys heard what I was saying. For somebody like me, like me that doesn't like the barbershop scent, you know, the traditional uh, talc and all the other things, Psycho Billy Quiff puts that new spin on on barbershop. But I wish more people would jump outside of the box like you did on a barbershop scent and just nail it down, you know? I, I yeah. This is yeah. the one barbershop that I'm like, yes, wearing barbershop. So I think yeah. that's cool. Yeah. You know, I mean – I've said it before. I mean, y'all probably heard me say it. I, 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 I like barbershop scents that have talcum powder, you know, have the powdery smell. I, I'll, I'll wear them. And, and uh, there's, there's a lot of good ones out there. I just figured with a new company, why just come out and do the same thing? You know, um, I wanted to just try to make myself stand out a little bit. And I think that that happened with that one. Definitely. So oh, I think they're all, they're all standalone. They all, they're all great. Yeah, you know, I mean, that was what I was going for was something that I hadn't smelled from anyone else. Um, and it's so hard to do that. I mean, it's really hard to do that. And, you know, there's a lot of guys that are a lot of companies that are doing that right now that are coming up with scents you haven't smelled before. And, and you know, I'm not the only one, but um, I think it's I think it's important to, to stand out from everyone else, you know, um, be your be your own, be yourself. And um if I wanted to, I could have started in January with a sandalwood vanilla and uh, patchouli, and you know, I mean, I, it, it, I could have done simple stuff if I wanted to. I just, I didn't, I didn't really want to go that route, you know. I wanted to. I, I like tinkering with fragrance and essential oils, you know. So, I mean, that's that's the fun part to me. So when you finally come up with something, you. I, I'm just like, oh my god! Just make, let me make sure I wrote this down. <laughs> you know? Are your hats and live on the website right now? Do what? Are your hats and shirts live on the website? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I gotta get me a shirt. I, I see. Uh, I think it's Mo. I see running around with a defined shirt. I'm like, I gotta get a shirt that looks good. Yeah, Mo's and got one. As long as you get the curve bill one, that flat bill trucker thing that Swag is wearing down there is just like mm -hmm. so fresh and clean, baby. <laughs> yeah, so I wear, fresh and clean. I'll add it to my collection on the wall. I wear the trucker hats, but I know, I know, I got the flat bill specifically for Swag. So you guys, <laughs> nice. You guys go buy them up, man, because now I got like twelve of them. <laughs> Just to get swag one of them. Yeah. Wow. That is yeah, amazing. I mean, you, yeah, the company that does my hats, you know, you have to do at least a dozen at a time. And so I was like, well, I want to do I want to do uh, trucker hats for sure. And I said, so, but I, I want to throw a couple of flat bills in there. And they're like, you got to get at least a dozen. And I was like, okay. Minimum I'll of 12. It. Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I mean. No, but they're nice. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah, them, man. They're very comfortable. I have to the normal curve, whatever you trucker style or whatever you call it. But I mean, it just fits good. They're nice hats there. I, I can't do the deep flat bills like swag can. I just don't have the head for it, but um, you gotta have a big head crew. for the flat bills. Yeah. See, I, I'm not a big melon ganger. I'm a, oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I'm a normal melon. <laughs> That's a big melon right there. You know, yeah. 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 I have hair to help me. And I still, I wear my hat on like the same size Aubrey does. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> that's crazy. Big melon gang. Dan's got, Dan's got the hashtag. It's a on. thing. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. We should get a, a second giveaway here, should we? Sure. Man, you know, I shouldn't have thrown out the fact that my son does the labels. That would have been a great question. That would have been a great a question. Giveaway. I know. Now, now I'm now I'm gonna have to like pull out the number generator or something because I'm such a, <laughs> such a boring guy, you know. The, the only <laughs> question he was is the ones about his kids. It's very endearing. Yeah, I tell you what, I think I've taken a couple of sips of this. I'm drinking a I'm drinking a beer. Well, actually, we're gonna we'll, we'll give. What do you want to give away this time? Y'all, y'all give away my product. Just go ahead; it's all yours. Just <laughs> dip your hands in it. I mean, I, I thought it'd be cool to give away one of each scent, but I mean, it doesn't like. What's it really matter if they pick a scent or don't pick a yeah. scent? Like, we got three yeah. giveaways. Like, pick your scent. You know. 
Yeah, we just did a uh, we just did oil butter. Maybe an oil oil and balm for the next. Yeah, one? Yeah, see if there's any balm live matters people out there. You know, yeah. balm there live matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, or uh, what the winter? Or the pick, like, do they want to buy a bomb? You know, like yeah. E Rock, yeah. what's up? I tell you what, why don't we just do this? We'll just call them combos, and you can pick one of one thing and one of the other, whatever you want to pick. You can pick an oil, or you can pick two oils, or you can pick two bombs, or you can pick an oil and a bomb, or oil and a butter. Nice. I see that person that's like, I don't want oil or butter. Just give me two bombs. <laughs> rare. That's rare. Brian's like, cocktails make me feel like a gangster pretender. I feel you there. Like me and a flat bill is just like, who's this dork with the flat bill and the glasses? Looks like an nah. application. The question is, could you see Brian with his banjo and a flat bill hat being a gangster pretender? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> Dan so, said, if you, if you pick balm and butter, you're kicked out. <laughs> so Cam, Cam had an interesting question. Uh, yes. Any co-wash in the pipeline? There actually, to tell you the truth, that has is something that I have been working on for a long time. Um, and I, I'm working with a, I'm actually working with a lab on that. Um, but the problem is, is, is once, uh, once COVID came around, the lab is absolutely it's closed right now. You're working so, with the lab. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Should I take the small batch out of my my uh, description or what? <laughs> oh, I yeah. couldn't help no, it. No, I, I did. Yeah, that is actually that's actually I, something that I had talked to uh, to to Dan about. I, you know, I did it just for the the uh, preservative factor. I didn't have enough experience with it. You know what I mean? So I had I needed someone to kind of guide me on that part. And um, I don't and think I, I, I actually, I actually right made it to uh, version yeah. four. Yeah, I made it to version four before. Yeah before all this stuff happened and then they're closed until I, th I think they might try to open up next month. I don't know. Um, I got, I got to check with them, but um, so that that's kind of been put on hold. That's why I'm going to do this other product next month. It, that's pretty much why I went back to this other new product that's coming out next month is because the co-wash and the, and the wash were kind of being delayed. And so I just didn't want to sit stagnant. So um so a new product that's obviously now not a wash or a co-wash. So um, we're, we're, we're down for a random number gener generator for the giveaway, I guess? Um, well, I was going to say, you know, if, if they've been paying attention, I've been taking sips of the number one beer in Texas there, if anybody can name it. Oh, okay. There we go. And you're just qualified. And then now you're going to get guys from Texas who are like going to name all kinds of beers other than this one, and they're going to all think their beers are the number one beers in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miller, somebody, Beardius Maximus said Miller Light. <laughs> <laughs> close, close. Man. Beardius close. Maximus wins. <laughs> Chief fan, so he definitely wins. We have a com we have a combo set of your choice on the line here. A Pabst Blue Ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> That's good beer, man. I don't care what anybody says. I, you know, <laughs> that, that blue ribbon. It gets it gets a lot of flack. It's a nice, clean beer with. I think well, it, it's it's very it's very tolerable. Let's put it that way. It's not bad. Is uh, Pat a big thing in North Carolina? Because I know quite a few North Carolina people that are just like Pat's Blue Ribbon freaks. Maybe it's a North Carolina thing. I see. What did I see him say he's close. <laughs> There's a close one in there. I see it. He's trying up, to he's trying metal to be funny too, and and uh, he's actually kind of close. Uh, yeah. Tell me, got it right. Urine water. It's all the same. Yeah, beer's gross. I can't stand beer. That's their slogan. Highly tolerable. Highly tolerable. <laughs> actually, uh, I, I, before this whole Corona thing, a, a buddy of mine went to the states, and you you, you guys have the craziest like bulk. You know, like discounted uh, huge package products. Like he, 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 he in his uh, the back of his big white, you know, like uh, van. He had like this battering ram of Pabst Blue Ribbon, and it's like a 
120 beers and a big old box. <laughs> Everything's bigger in Texas, man. I mean, you know, when we say we don't, we don't go to the store and say, "Hey, I'm going to go pick up a 12 pack." We go, "I'm going to go pick up a 120 pack." You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can have a 24 to nothing lead in the second quarter and still lose the game. Like, in Texas. are we still <laughs> talking about oh. this? <laughs> so, uh, has anyone anyone guessed what you're drinking? There has been. Close. There was somebody close. They actually had it, but they they put something else on it, and that's not it. Right. Oh. Camo said, "I'm just." He just said, "I'm just naming crappy beers." <laughs> Is Ham even a beer anymore? What? Is Ham's even a beer anymore? Like, are they? I'm still not around? sure. I've, I've never even heard of Ham's. I remember oh, commercials wow. for it. Ben Taff says, uh, Yingling, you, you can't get that around here. Like, I've gone to, like, Pennsylvania and had that before, and I was like, oh, that's pretty good, and I was trying to find it. It's like you can't even get it around here. Cam, got it. Oh. Cam just go. won again. That's two wins for Cam. All right. All right. Well, Cam can't win. Two. Yeah. I guess, <laughs> well, I know we already know. <laughs> I'd say it goes to Beardius Maximus because right after him there was like boom. Yeah, he said uh he said Lone Star. Well yeah, there you go. I guess you can call it red, but I call it original. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Plus he's a chief thing, so it's a bonus. Like he can rub that twenty four to nothing moss or twenty four to nothing uh comeback in your face too. <laughs> So uh, could could confirm Beardius Maximus, I guess, uh, is the winner of the giveaway. That's his. That's his second win in the last two weeks, man. He's, he's wow. on a roll. He needs to buy a lottery ticket. And he's a. I saw earlier up. He's a Caballero uh, lover as well. So yeah, and he's here. He's here in Texas too. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. He's a, he's a cool dude in the in the um in the beer community. I mean, he's one of the the guys. That's in everybody's live stream supports everybody and is just straight up positive guy. Yeah. Supportive. He's an he's an awesome dude. Everyone give a yeah. round of applause for Beardius. <laughs> and he's a huge one. I mean, he's just got a soft spot in my heart. Like every room every time we walk into a room together, it's just like go Chiefs, go Chiefs. Like it's just the thing that we do that's become a thing sure. that's funny. Yeah. No yeah. bearded metal chefs in here. Yeah, what up, I saw that. I don't think that dude ever sleeps. Yeah, no, man. Yeah, I can't say anything because I'm. I, I always see him go live at like three a.m., two a.m. Where Where is he at? Florida. Yeah. Oh, he's in Florida. So he's yeah, he's even an hour ahead of. Me. Damn. Yeah. So when it's like two or three here, it's like three or four there, right? I think. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out timing. It's it's not working. <laughs> Dave's not working again. Yeah. <laughs> I just see his I'm like Dave hasn't said anything in a while. Oh, well, <laughs> Y'all want to let Dave talk or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what province are you in? I am in in Ontario. The uh, province that's been hit hard, hit the hardest by this whole situation. So that's been great. But yeah, I, mean, I was worried. I was worried about your package yeah, sure. getting there. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it, it, got, it got here quite in good time actually. I was really surprised. Yeah, uh, I actually, it actually, they didn't. They they with international packages, they hard the USPS tracking. They hardly ever update it. So I I checked and I I text Tyson and I was like, hey, I'm worried, man. I don't think it's gonna get there in time. But I sent it like two weeks ago, you know, and I sent it priority, uh, and then. Guy said it shows it hadn't been delivered yet, and he said he's got it. And I was like, "Oh, thanks USPS for scaring the crap out of me for nothing," you know. Yeah. There's a bunch of packages right now, international packages that are hung up. Um, There's a scuba diver in here. Oh, wow, uh, Mr. Scoop is up in here. Hey, scuba. Nice, nice. Have they stopped permission. letting packages come into Canada? Because I know that the UK and Australia, I think, have put a hold on mail right now dan is asking me how far from the murder mitten I've, I've never heard of the murder mitten he that's michigan you. oh okay gotcha 
Uh, I coach water polo, so we play many teams from Ontario. Oh, really neat, really neat. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure how close I am to Michigan. I don't know my U.S. geography, uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, like the United States border. Yeah. Do okay. Not. So I, I live in Ottawa, so pretty close to the murder mitten. <laughs> yeah, I think Dan Dan's got the the Michigan mud flab, and and that what they also call that. Well, he's got like a million names for, <laughs> but yeah, Michigan mud flap's one of them. He wants to know what he has thinks of it, the, his mullet. He mentioned that earlier. He what? He mentioned earlier he wants to know what Kaz thinks of his mullet. Oh. Since Dan. Kaz is the style guru. Oh, you, oh, you mean Dan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, go check out his mullet. He wants to know what he thinks. <laughs> down <laughs> flipper. <laughs> Do we have Dave back yet? No, we don't. Oh, look at look at Scuba dropping dropping dimes up in here. Drop oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scoobs. Wow. Travers so, Travers Tail Flat. Bearded you metal shit. Stop and say hi. <laughs> Maximus wants to pay it forward. Is that true? Or, or? Yes. Yeah, he said that. So. Okay. How do we do that? <laughs> I mean, Maximus kick somebody that he wants to pay it forward to. I always like that idea. I think everybody agrees with that. It's nice no to sense. let somebody pick, you know, like somebody that they feel. I think. Yeah. Now you're back. Here I am. Oh, you're back. So, interesting story. I just built this $15 million computer that <laughs> is kicking my sound off for some reason. Oh, really? <laughs> Time to update those graphic cards. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Max, Beauty is Was your wife in the room at all, Dave, while you weren't in there? Uh, let's not talk about that. computer sabotaging your computer <laughs> Let's not talk about how unhappy my wife was about that situation. Oh, uh, Scooby's mom needs him to cook her a hungry man. Boy. <laughs> so, so I guess that one's yeah. Bearded metal chef, just uh, just message me, man, on IG. Don't burn it, Scuba. She'll be mad. She'll kick you off the internet. Hungry man meals. <laughs> How many could she eat? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Mom needs to cook her hungry man meal. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. That is awesome. Good to see you. Hey, wait. You know what? I ha has has Swag used a comb in this live stream yet? Because if he I has, it, it, but he hasn't used it really much. Oh, there I'm trying not to, man. I'm trying to be careful. But yeah, I've used it twice. There's a young one. <laughs> oh, gosh, get me going now. You guys oh. got to see this. Hold on a second. I feel like I have to hold this up so everybody can see that it's copy porn. I'm not sitting here taking a leak on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, but welcome. It's me, Tyson Facially Bearded. I got a piss bucket down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the. The secrets of reviewers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't leave your chair. You don't sit here. Two of us in here no. not wearing pants. Have fun guessing what shoe it is. None of us are. <laughs> There's a good one. And yeah, that's a good question right there. That's, that's a good question. Which two are not wearing pants. Uh, well, now, now, we get, now we got some more people in here. Now we're up to 22. We're, I think we're that's up to 22. Viewers or a YouTuber's type thing of like, I don't think we wear. Pants. I know, Dan. Later, Cam. Keep a little bundle of joy. Looks nothing like you. Her pacifier is a mustache. Oh my! Oh, wow. <laughs> that's you awesome. It says, so awesome. "I mustache you a question." <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Wow. Yeah, Cam, just message me if you haven't already bounced out of here. But bring your adult diapers and hang on. Hang on. <laughs> bring your piss buckets and your adult diapers. <laughs> oh boy. 
So we're all almost at the hour mark. You know, so, so something something I wanted to ask real quick. I'm I, I'm probably the only one that doesn't know this story. I'm sure you told it a couple times, Carrie. But uh, what kind of got you into making beer products? I was well. I was using them. You know, obviously I was using them myself, and I just really wanted to find. I wanted to find something that worked for my beard. I tried a bunch of different oils from different companies and i mean they were good but you know every you know we all know that not every blend feels great in your beard or you know in your your individual beard it may work for somebody else but might not work for you you know so i'm a gray beard so i wanted to find obviously uh, you know my beard dries up a lot faster than you know others um, so I wanted to find something that was fast absorbing, not greasy, um, nourishing, and, you know, would, would definitely, you know, keep that skin underneath healthy. And after trying, I tried everything, man. It, it's, I tried every, every, every possible bl blend that I could think of. Um, and that's the one that I felt the best in my beard, that is. And so I sent it out for testing and, started getting good results with it. And I finally just decided to keep it with that. I mean, it wasn't too, uh, it wasn't, you know, a big, uh, too intricate or anything like that. It was pretty easy, you know, um, for me to just to find something that worked in my beard, non greasy, fast absorbing, keep that skin underneath moisturized and healthy. And I think, I think that, you know, what I came up with does, I, I think it's, I love it. I mean, the blend is perfect in my eyes, but uh, like I said, everybody's beard is different. So, you know, what, what works for, what works for me might not work for the next person. So um, that's just, that's how, that's how it came about. And this is why I say like where you source your, your carriers from your ingredients from really matters. Cause when you look at the carrier blend, sweet almond, fractionate, coconut, argan, jojoba, vitamin E, like, Again, nothing completely super special that would make it so different and such a great feel. It's a lot of people use these same ingredients. It's where you get them from, in my opinion, how you mix them, the ratios that you use, um, you know, and then where they're sourced from. Yeah, I mean, it definitely depends. It, it, the biggest factor is it's not so much what you're using where you're getting it from i mean that, i mean tyson hit it hit the nail on the head with that um you know if you're if you're buying your oil if you're if you're buying your stuff off amazon then you're probably not going to have a great feeling beard um i'm talking about if you're buying your carrier oils you know i mean i know there's beard oil companies but if you're buying you know if, if you're not buying high quality stuff then it's not going to work you can't just say you know i've got sweet almond oil fractionated coconut oil argan oil uh, jojoba oil and so it's going to work you know but and that's not true because half the time if you were to order something off amazon say you order a gallon of sweet almond oil you, you you're not even guaranteed that that's sweet almond oil in there if you're getting it off amazon you know so yeah i I've, i sourced from reputable vendors and i found the ones that worked best i tried i told tyson yesterday that even with fragrances essential oils carry oils i'll buy one from every company just to see who has the best one and i'll pick from there so because that's a real weird. thing too Right? Like you can go to a fragrance company and buy sandalwood and you can go to 10 different companies, get their sandalwood and they all smell different. Yeah. It's crazy. You know, it's like, so, you, so that's why I do that. I end up with a lot of waste obviously, but you know, once I find the one I want, I'm like, okay, I'm going to keep buying this one. These are in the garbage, you know? Um, that's, that's, I, I chalk that up to R and D, the R and D budget research and development, you know? So, uh you know, I mean, if, if you, it's all about where you're sourcing your products from, that, that's all. It's not, uh, it's not so much the blend itself. The blend helps, I mean, but you definitely want to have high quality oils that you're putting in there. And, you know, or we, I don't mind paying a little bit more so I can have a good product. I think uh, three of us in this group can attest to what happens when people don't use quality fragrance oils or essential oils. I believe we had a... Uh, a dirty foot situation come through that all three of us went through together. So yeah, 
I, I am thankful for the people that spend the time to find the right stuff. It, it's, yeah. it's important. Yeah. And I mean, it does, it, it depends on, you know, not just who you're buying it from, but where it's coming from, where they're getting it from too, you know? Yeah. So, you, um, you know, you have to, you know, is the sweet almond oil coming from Spain or is it coming from New Jersey? Which one? <laughs> you know, so um, it, it really all depends on you, you have to really research who you're getting it from as well, just to make sure that they're getting quality stuff, you know. So, um, oh, am I? <laughs> what? This is like a flash mob of hair. <laughs> everyone at home. Everyone at home. Right now, right here. Quick. Quick. Yeah. <laughs> I feel left out. I feel left out. <laughs> 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 Freaking tomes. <laughs> this is this is all I got, man. It's all um, I got. I don't <laughs> I can't even watch the screen anymore, man. <laughs> I try so hard. I try so hard. <laughs> and express. Speaking of uh, speaking of headbanging their swag, I I, uh, I quickly stopped into uh, Beer Times with Scott's uh, stream. You guys were mm -hmm. we'll have to talk classic rock sometime. That was yeah, awesome. absolutely. I'd love to. Yeah. yeah the, 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 well, I mean, I, I grew up with that genre, and I'm you know I, I know pretty much everything there is to know about it. So yeah, you know, maybe, we, maybe we can here. sit back and sing together sometime. Absolutely. That, that always works with you know the latency of a of, of a live stream, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I've never that had was... Whataburger, so I don't know. You've that never had awesome, Whataburger? Awesome show. Yeah, I have a Whataburger, and anywhere I go that would have a Whataburger, I'm like, I'd rather have Chick Fil A because we don't have one of those either. So it's like anytime I had either one. one, if I'm getting to a Chick anywhere close to a Chick Fil A, I'm going way out of my way for that. You, you, you know, you know, you're from Texas when you say I had water burger for lunch today. I literally had water burger for lunch today. I'm not. Lying. Oh wow! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, but man, swag. I, that that show was great, man. I messaged Scott uh, this morning, telling him that I loved the format and I thought it was awesome. You know that where you're not really paying attention to the comments. You know, it's a one on one and um, letting everybody else just kind of have fun in there and listen. You know, I thought that was pretty cool. I told him that I can't wait to see who he's who he's got got up next. You know, I thought he did a good job with that, man. You know? He did. He did amazing. And he, he was talking about it, how he was actually going to maybe turn off the comments and me and we were just going to sit there and chill out and, and just have a conversation. But it, it just ended up him and I were flowing so good together and we were engaging. And I think the next person he's going to have on there is uh, Joey Hookham. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, bearded Joey Hookham. Yeah. yeah. I sent yeah. Joey an order the other day. So, yep. yeah. I mean, yeah. That's 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 pretty cool, man. Yeah. He's a good man. Yeah. It's, it's I, I like the fact that he's going to mix it up and have reviewers or have members from the community, have company mm -hmm. owners, you know. I mean, it's. May he might be onto something here. Who knows? You know? Yeah. Yeah. And I was asking him after we were done, I was like, you know, you've been doing this for three years. How many times can you sit down in front of a camera and talk about beer products before, you know, you, you get really to the point of it's monotonous. Uh, and yeah. he's like, yeah, that's for sure. And then he went through this phase of, of getting a little bit depressed and kind of lost in it. So we were talking about, uh, you know, his passions are drumming because he's always talking about music. He's always talking about his band. He's always talking about wrestling. So when you get him talking about those two the, and his family, of course, uh, boy, you can just see the guy light up like I've never seen before. And it, it was really cool to be on the other end of it as well. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was that was cool, man. Yeah. And you got a great story, too. Yeah, that's yeah. It's, it's there to share and anybody that, you know, has the same problems that don't think they can talk about that kind of stuff, uh, that's not true. I mean, you, you have to talk about it with people, but first you have to build that trust, you know, and yeah. then you can move on and then and then bring it up so somebody else can talk about their story. It's all about healing, you know, it's yeah. it's cool. You're, you're a lot you're a lot uh, braver than I am. I'm not. I'm not pulling the skeletons out of the closet like you do, man. <laughs> yeah, my, I'm gonna leave. Man, it I'll tell you what. If it wasn't for everybody pulling them out for me, they'd still probably be in the closet. I'd still be in the same place I was. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Tyson fell asleep. 
third giveaway. Yeah. Man, do I have to come up with another question? I'm out of questions. We can do it. We got one already. Who around the table is not wearing pants? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Two out of the five people are not wearing pants. Guess yeah, which correct. name. And if you, the first person to get both of them right. Yeah, you have to, you, put, you have to guess both of them. In the same comment, you have to get both names right. So um, another customization combo, I suppose. Sure. Yeah. Whatever they. Yeah. We'll just say they can pick two. But like Dan said, if you pick balm and butter, you're kicked out of the club. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get at least an oil, or else you are sent to the shadow realm. Right. So uh, the bind is a great for uh, gray beards. That's why uh, he has a gray beard and has made it. Oh. Oh. Actually, I think. Uh, yep. Ben Taft, Mr. Ben Taft has got it. Yep. I I am most definitely not wearing pants, and I will not show anyone. Yeah, we, uh, we, we can Kirk Ray in their briefs. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys that information. No, I would definitely go with the adult diaper if I had them. But, uh, <laughs> we can we can confirm that neither one of them have pants on because they showed us before the live stream <laughs> yeah. started. Yeah. 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 Is Dave off again? Oh, no, it's all right, Ben. I don't Dave, think Dave is, is, did Dave's mic go out again? Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. No. <laughs> See what happens when you build your own computer and you do it wrong. Oh my lord, man! Spending twenty five hundred dollars on a dang computer. <laughs> hey, only, we can't hear you, man. So I'm going to keep. It was only eleven hundred, and my phone <laughs> still mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm yeah. back. Can you guys hear me? I'm on my cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you're in a tank. Oh, whatever, Mason. I don't need that. This, this, this is my favorite thing to do on a on a live stream. <laughs> I think you're going to <laughs> Dragon's so, never gonna look so it's the same. Like the thing you don't know is I film pretty much every one of my videos with no pants on. Like it's <laughs> it gets hot in these studios, man. Like it gets so warm in these rooms with like lights and, and, and computers and screens. And it's like, oh I and can't sound, sound air conditioning does not exist. There is no system that will cool your house uh enough. To keep you from sweating without any sound, with it without it being in the back of your audio, so you, you turn right. off your air conditioning and, yep, you just hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> just hope for well, the best. It's in winter here, but it still gets hot in here. Unless I open a window, this room, the studio is hot, and I don't want to open a window because my neighbors have dogs. So there goes that barking in the camera, you know. So I just get used to. I mean, plus, I just don't like wearing pants in general. I'm a shorts guy. If I'm wearing pants, it's like sweatpants or something. But then again, it's too hot in here. Mm. So. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I rarely. I rarely wear jeans or anything like that. I wear joggers or shorts. <laughs> Nobody wants the sweats while you're filming. Like it's uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, you know what? If this is really, I mean, if this is what you really do, I don't want to see your seat that you're sitting in at all. Yeah, oh. yeah I don't want one of your chairs, brother. Keep it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you you tried right to give me one a while ago, too, you nasty boy. Smelled like my ass? No. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you call that weathered. It's like it's season. <laughs> it's it's season chair. <laughs> When Crips go to a nasty boy, you know you've really messed up. Yeah. yeah. Done. <laughs> I bet he ain't even wearing pants. He's got the flannel shirt on like he's wearing, but he, he probably sitting there in the pantless like, giving us crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's later. <laughs> he, oh. Um, he's he, he's all natural today. He's not even wearing underwear. Yeah, he's really? like, no, I don't got pants on, but I uh... you're not you don't you're not sitting in a leather seat, are you? <laughs> Things oh, just yeah. got weird. I am. Oh, my legs are sticking. <laughs> Hopefully, no built in button on that chair. No, definitely. <laughs> 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 not enough. 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 Not
Have you guys seen that video where that guy's sitting on the chair and like the piece breaks and the metal shaft goes through the bottom of the chair? Oh yeah, that's horrible. That's no, oh, I'm not doing that. God, yeah. Go watch it. Go watch it, Tyson. It's brutal. It's just. I remember, oh. I remember that one. I gotta show something just for Beardius Maximus, just for him. Well, and David. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do I have to do this again? The Super Bowl champion hat, like <laughs> that flag. Oh, there's my Patrick Mahomes signed uh, Super Bowl football. Yeah, that was. That's just for Maximus and David here. This? And that's the Super Bowl ring from 1969. Oh. Really? Yeah, Is it a, really? It's beefy. Wow. And we got we got the 2020 ones ordered, right? Yeah. Dave ordered the 2020 Super Bowl championship rings. It's me and Swag are just like, yeah. no, I do need. You could just send them here because there's a toilet paper shortage. Yeah. Oh, that can. Yeah, that's what I want to do with all Swag's Raiders hats. I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> You never have to worry about the hanging on the bathroom door. It's perfect. A happening. <laughs> Where'd wow. you get the ring, man? Um, so in real life, uh, I Can anybody hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? We're messing with you, man. We can <laughs> hey, it's, it's, hey, are you there? <laughs> we don't want to hear about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, in real life, I uh, I work for an advertise. I run an advertising uh, agency, and uh, a while back, a guy had come in that needed some work done and happened to work with the Chiefs and the Royals. So we kind of made a, a bargain deal. Cool. True story. You do all the promo merch and banners and all that stuff for the Chiefs and the Royals, right? We are third party to second party. We're right up the road from the company that does. We work really close to them. That's when we were talking about vinyl wraps and stuff. Those that's them. Yeah, we're yeah, we're right there. Vinyl wraps. Wow. Which is cool. Yeah. Most like we do. Mostly, oddly enough, we do swag for companies. Ooh. Swag. Yeah. Swag, yeah. baby. Yeah, was a... yeah. What a good word. <laughs> something we something we all get. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm going to go eat some Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Ooh, that I sounds really good. good. Chuck E. Cheese has good pizza. Like, I want unless you put cheese. unless you put pineapple on it. Well, yeah, no, then it's perfect. Oh, oh, that's mm, that sounds real. That's what I'm having for dinner. Might as well put pants on. <laughs> yeah. Have a pineapple on pizza. Mm. I mean, it's the same <laughs> oh. I feel like some sushi tonight. Dude, I'd get sushi, but nobody is open doing sushi right now except for the grocery store. And I'm the grocery store sushi is a little sketchy. Like they have the Chinese people or whoever in there making it, but it's still sketchy to me. Some of the best grocery, sushi, grocery store sushi. Some of the yeah, best sushi God. I ever had was from a Hispanic guy making it. Nice. He, he kicked its tail. <laughs> <laughs> sushi doesn't discriminate, obviously. No. <laughs> it's an <laughs> art form. Yeah. <laughs> Name that scent without looking. 1626. Dang it. See, Psycho Billy Quiff and 1626, they're similar but different. Mm -hmm. You missed it? Yeah, I missed it. I got it wrong. <laughs> just mix, I guess I'll just have to mix them together. We'll just. I'm going to tomorrow. That's what I'm doing. That's my Sunday church scent is Psycho Billy 26. I can tell you uh, what's what's coming out is, is, is far off from that realm, too. Is or isn't? Is. It's it won't. So it won't be similar. Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's it's gonna be fun. Something along the citrus line, or maybe it's a new product, right? Watermelon. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. New, it's a it's a go, it's a totally new product. It's something that I don't even have out right now. And it's not wash or co-wash, so it's got to be yeah. like a roll-on cologne. Mustache wax. <laughs> it's deodorant. No, I'm kidding. It's not. He deodorant. wouldn't do mustache wax in a different scent. And not his normal sense. So I don't feel like it's that. So it's going to be defined beard butt plug chairs. Oh, <laughs> damn it. 
<laughs> I will not be reviewing that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Count me out. <laughs> no, There's it's, enough chocolate it, it, in the distinguished caballeros. We don't need any uh, chocolate stuff on the, that. That's. <laughs> It'll 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 be you know. Oh, it's, it's getting too much. We need to end stream. <laughs> Whoa! You, you'll 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 enjoy it, and the scent profiles are going to be something I've never done before either. And I mean, one of them is going to be people are probably going to be like, "Whoa!" You know, until they smell it and go, "Yeah, you're right. That works." <laughs> so that's um, a good one. I'm intrigued. Yeah. At this point, it has to be hand sanitizer. I feel like with the world we're in right now, it's hand sanitizer. <laughs> Scented toilet paper. <laughs> okay, there you go. It has a logo That's... on every square? Right. Yeah, <laughs> defined. Every square, it's got a logo between the Broncos. Why, the Broncos. Why would I sell something to people to wipe their butt with my logo on? <laughs> Why I said the Raiders. Let us define your bathroom experience. Let us define your bathroom. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, excited. I'm excited to get it out. and uh, I mean, I wish I could just come out and say it, but, you know. It is what I mean, it you is. Can. So. Why not just share the news here first? We heard it here first on the Urban Bazaar. Uh, I gave you half of it. It's, I told you it's something that I don't have out now, and it's not a wash or a co-wash. Yeah, it's a hand sanitizer. Like I already called it. <laughs> so we can't hear him now. We can't see him. Like nope. Dave, get crap together, man. I think yeah, his camera is... batteries died. Maybe. Dave, I, pulling... I bet it did. I bet his camera battery died. Yeah, he's pulling oh. the rookie moves, man. The rookie moves. <laughs> oh. And you know, oh, like, we've hit the one minute, I, I mean, one minute, one hour and 20 minute mark. People are starting to drop off a little bit. It's probably a good We thing. need to do a random number and get the, get that third giveaway. Oh, man, Jerry, I can't believe you're coming out with that. You actually even told us about it online here. That's that's amazing. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, like, that's going to change the beard world. Dude. It is literally going to change the beard world. Okay. I, okay. Thought, uh, I thought Ben Taft won the uh, third one. We oh. had Cam. Oh yeah! yeah. Right. Oh yeah! Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The pants one. Metal chef. The pants one. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! Yeah, Ben Taft one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, you said we were just giving away your products. I figure we're gonna cut <laughs> one in. You know, I don't. You know, like I can watch uh, Scott's videos, and uh, he'll be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do a giveaway next week," and I'm going, "I wonder who's gonna give away." And he'll go, "Yeah, it's Defied Beard Co." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah, okay. don't give reviewers free reign because." <laughs> 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 no, it's all good. It's all good. Our names are blinking green. Are you alerting us, like, Will you guys stop talking? You guys stop talking. It's been an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Let's leave, it, let's leave it right there, huh? I didn't even know you could do that. What's up, girl? Oh, oh there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hot pink. The that's hot so pink, pretty. too. Hot pink, bubblegum pink. <laughs> Make them uh, red and yellow. Uh, you know what? It up in here. Hold on. Race to the front has a question for me. For me, if a beard is a mix of gray and white and black, <laughs> is it better to treat it as if it was gray product wise? Probably. Yes. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. I was gonna tell. I mean, I'm. I'm. I usually don't do this, but I'm gonna ask you guys because this stuff is absolutely amazing. Have y'all tried this yet? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God! I wore it last night. I don't know how Joe does it, but geez. He killed it with that one. Yep. I mean, your your beard looks like craziness when you wake up in the morning, but as soon as you wash it out, it's just yep, it's exactly. Soft. Yeah, I agree. It's soft, man. This stuff is soft. Um, yeah, no. If you, if you've got a mix a mix there of gray and white and black, yeah, definitely. You definitely want to treat it like it's a gray beard. Mm -hmm. Swag's got a little bit of gray coming through there. I can see it. I can see it. Wisdom. You guys can't see how much gray I have because my beard is so black and like the way I do my camera, but like I got a ton of gray in but it's all like so you can see a couple of strands like right here is one and here. But underneath, like I got so much gray underneath. Uh let's what Wolfie wear beard. What's the difference between that oh that Leo oh, the beard octane? Um it's more like a cream. 
I uh, think uh, like kind of like Scotch Porter leaving that kind of that feel consistency, I guess. But it's yeah. so light, so light and so soft, man. Once you get it, it's conditioner is the conditioner properties, right? It's not it doesn't have the, the butters and the things like that, like a butter. It's more like a it's more like a co-wash conditioner, but something that you leave in, yeah. you know. For yeah, and the feeling beard, man, when you put that stuff in, just the cool, I mean, the cool effect yeah. that it gives you. I mean, and it's, oh, and then you just let it all dry and it just, it's just perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's cool. I, he beat everybody to the punch on that one. Yep. <laughs> as, as usual. <laughs> well, Scotch Porter was the first to do like, a conditioner that I know of, but. Uh, yeah. But I mean, swoop it in though. Yes, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I think I think Joe came out with that at the perfect time because you know Scotch Porter just really messed up their products and I hate to say that as a beard company on a live stream but I'm sorry but the old Scotch Porter was awesome you know and the new one I just don't like so I'm I'm glad I've got four tubs of it left you got four tubs tried. of it oh, four I haven't even tried the new one you're lucky you're lucky. I never really was a fan of Scotch Porter just because I didn't like the scent. And I think there's a couple of beer companies out there. And again, I'm not going to name names because this is all about you. But um, there's a couple of companies out there that have co-washes or conditioners, as I like to call them, that are just as good as Scotch Juice. I was, yep. you know. And Beard Octane's yeah. one of them. I guess I will name names because you you're talking about their leaving conditioner. They have the new conditioner for like conditioner for in the shower. That is excellent. Yeah, yeah I, actually, I actually messaged Joe when I got this, and I was like, "Man, this is crazy good." I said, "The only the only thing I regret is not trying your new conditioner as well." You know? Um, yeah, you should try that. Yeah, good. you know, that's the leave-in. Right? Washes and co-washes because you don't have any, so we're cool. <laughs> I've I've been banned from the co-wash department. Get, I, I think by the summertime. No, you need a co-wash in, in uh, Psycho Belly. See, awesome. everybody tells me 1626. So they're like, that would be the perfect co-wash scent. And I'm like, Well, they both would. Yeah, I mean, just I guess you're right. Come on, we keep going back to that. Let's just mix them together and make a co-wash here. <laughs> Do both? Well, but let's not call it a... Let's not call it a co-wash. Let's call it a conditioner. Conditioner. Uh, it, it's yes. a conditioner, yeah. yeah. A, yeah beard, no, a beard wash and a beard conditioner. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, the, that's what I'm going for is a conditioner. And that's why it's taking so long because it's not the consistency I want. I want it to be thicker, but I still want it to melt into your beard. I don't want it to coat your beard, you know, and feel heavy on it. I want it to still at, talk to, I, I mean, I can hit you off on this offline, but, uh, the person we were talking about last night, um, through our text messaging, talk to him because his stuff is excellent. Okay. Yeah. Like he might be able to give you some tips and tricks, uh, with that, but cool. I'll do that. Did you order beef? Octane? <laughs> no, I didn't, but I think I think I'm gonna have to because I try I try to support Joe and all the new stuff that he does. You know, um, I think he's a good dude. You know, um, I thought that whole thing was a joke when Dan when I when I got I came onto that live stream late and he was talking about beef octane beef octane and I was like, what does he keep saying beef octane for? And then he put the website up and I was like, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Joe has beef jerky now. <laughs> you know? He he beat us to the punch on beef jerky too, man. Yeah. <laughs> According to Blanco, my YouTube channel gives out gifts. <laughs> I'm just like, he's always coming up in here causing uh, causing trouble and ruckus. Yeah. A Trojan virus. A <laughs> <laughs> YouTube channel get virus. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them are so dirty, you can get a virus from them, man. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> the channel is so good that it's just loaded with Trojan viruses. <laughs> well, I thought, right, I thought right away it was a joke of like, because I'm not wearing any pants. You know, like, I don't know. I thought like there's some kind of. Thing like that, but I mean, you got a Trojan virus in your pants. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> that well, statement would be great if the word virus wasn't in it, you know. Trojan man. <laughs> you guys seen the picture of the uh there's a corona in the fridge and there's a there's a Heineken in the corner of the fridge. It's got a mask on. <laughs> He's scared to death of the corona. No, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> there's so many corona beer. Which is hilarious. Oh shit! But, uh, c- corona sales have actually plummeted like significantly just with the with the affiliation in people's minds. You know, good mm. corona ain't doing too well. Yeah, that's got to be a total bummer when your whole brand is named after a pandemic killer you know <laughs> why does this disease that has lived in the animal kingdom for hundreds of years have to be called corona yeah, yeah. well next, like you notice how when it first came out it was always the coronavirus and now we talk about it as covid19 way more often than we say corona yeah. like i wonder how much how many how much money uh the makers of corona like paid the government to like start calling it covid more often yeah. Oh, COVID, you're killing our sales. It's not Corona. Ne- next year is going to be Dos Equis 19. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dos Equis 2021. Yeah. yeah. That'd be 21 because it's yeah. after the year. See, I'm I'm horrible in math, man. That, that's that's obviously that's you're good. selling oils for ten dollars. You're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Yeah, that's that's what I like. I said, man. When when is May first? Next Friday. Yeah, that needs to yes. come quick, man. That needs to come quick. I mean, it's been great. Don't get me wrong. It's been great, but I need to get back to uh, the usual. So in May 1st, you're making a bigger discount for Mother's no, Day? No, 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 no. I'm going back. I'm putting the prices back oh. to where they should be. <laughs> no no so more discounts. If you're having a big one, I'm going to get my mom some of that new hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, you know, it, it's it's been it's been cool. You know, I mean, I've, I've, I've doubled what I've done and um, – but yeah, I need to get back to to where the How many price point should be. Hey, we, just went, we went from twelve to eight when I started talking. No, well, Dan's live on Instagram and Motivation's live on YouTube. So, uh, oh yeah, I forgot a lot of live stuff going on right now that people want to see. Mm-hmm. Dan's talking about the death nut challenge. Yeah. Oh, is he? I saw him with the popcorn, the white cheddar and ghost pepper. Yeah. Yeah. See, I can't do hot stuff. Not that I don't like it. Like my tongue likes it. My stomach does not. And like I need like aloe vera toilet paper after <laughs> eating hot stuff. And I- For sure, I agree. What? That's what, that's where the man diapers come in. Yeah. Aloe vera. Yeah. I'm a because my own rig gets papers. blown out. And I do a lot of leaking. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there, there, there's no pucker left. In the a little bit of seepage going on. <laughs> And there really, there's that. That puts a new meaning behind the word swamp ass. <laughs> That's why we don't wear hey. pants. No swamp ass. Yeah. Be- bearded dragon Welcome says. Welcome to Beard Friends. Yeah, see that? <laughs> the late hours, right? <laughs> late night with Beard Friends. We talk Ass about friends. swamp ass. <laughs> leakage. Y'all, y'all want to hear <laughs> about the leakage? <laughs> Go back and watch that video on the channel. You get to hear Beard Swag and Faithfully Bearded both swear and talk about. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, And farts. Farts are amazing. You see what uh, the Slater Dragon Dragon said? Sorry, sorry, you have the image of me pantless in your head. Um, it's gonna clear his head of that image. uh, I'll come in (laughs) for this next time so you can just think about that one. I don't know. I mean, like. I'll put pants on and no shirt. Do you have like nice legs at least? Is it, yeah, is it, I have good legs. Oh, good, I mean, good, good. good. Yeah. Well, I, I mean that suits it for me. I don't know about you guys. It's uh, yeah. I mean that's a deal. You got like, to look at like you might as well be pantless. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have socks on. I can't not go without socks. I have to have socks on. No yeah. pants really? with socks. Yeah, I'm the opposite. I hate wearing socks. So I can't take them off. I only take them off to shower. That's it. I'm That's kind of weird. I'm a big sock Wait, guy. so so you put socks on when you get out of the shower? After I dry my feet, I put socks, like boxers, socks are the first two things I put on. Yep. <laughs> I will not leave my bathroom without socks on. It's like, like we want to talk about foot fetishes. Like, I cannot be without socks. 
Even let's, still talk the- about, let's still talk about foot fetishes on this stream. Let, let's, <laughs> yeah, let's move let's that over that. somewhere else. I get wear in, my Cass, get the- in. It's getting deep in here. Yeah, yeah just hit the end button. Just hit it. Like, because we're not going to shut up and say bye. Like, <laughs> yeah, Cass is going to have to just kick I, us I, off. You know, I, right? I, I mean, honestly, th- th- that should be the next natural topic. We've talked about everything else that's degenerate like. So we might, we might as well get into well, it. Believe me, there's a lot more, Kaz. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say. I, 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 can, um, I can bring out the degenerate in the best of them. <laughs> have to go in that closet. I'm just doing a list right now because my closet door is open right there. And I, <laughs> I believe that statement. I believe that. Well, I, I, I suppose we should start wrapping it up. Any final statements, lads? Speaking uh, of Trojan virus, let's wrap it up. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, I laugh at my own jokes. Uh, trends 15 down in the description there. You get 15% off these lovely products and then stacked with the Corona discounts that Carrie's got right now. That puts you in 40, 45, 50% off a lot of these products. Yeah. So obviously, incredible discount there very very gracious to carry uh for a giving us giving you guys such a great discount and uh, t- and also just being here you know it's it, it's great to have uh, company owners on here and uh you know it, to, to get the full story and uh it's been it's been great getting to know you carrie yeah thanks you too man this was this was fun uh i'm down for it anytime um uh, thanks for having me on you know that's that's the that's the fun part of this community, man, is doing things like this and staying in touch with everybody. And I mean, just, you know, I mean, it was obvious as soon as we started, you know, it was like Camo, you know, Cam, he won, but he's already bought from me before, you know, it's like, so, I mean, it's just nice to, it's good to see a lot of this, you know, faces that you see on IG and places like that over in here too. You yeah. Know, yeah. So. yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I guess, I guess that's the end. Thanks so much for being here, guys. Uh, big old pieces all around, except Tyson. He's 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 looking down at his phone. What a de- degenerate. <laughs> Is it his phone? That he's he's ordering aloe vera toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> With a defined logo on it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. End in broadcast. See you later, everyone. <laughs>